Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. And man, oh, by the way, I'm Brett Popper, in case you don't know. <laughs> but man, the video today is, was totally like, it just happened. It was the most amazing thing. I had, I had Kirk Fletcher over here. And if you don't know who Kirk Fletcher is, wow. There's a couple videos on the channel I've done with Kirk already. He was coming over to shoot promotional videos for his new course that we're doing together, which is going to be legit. But Kenny Greenberg, legendary session guitar player here in Nashville, has played on like every hit. If you listen to country music at all, you've heard him. <laughs> Probably on half of what you hear. Just an amazing, amazing guitar player. It's so vibey, so good, and like a living legend. Plus he plays in the biggest country band in the world. He plays guitar for Kenny Chesney. He's played with Bob Seger. He's played with all sorts of people. Everyone from country to Bonnie Raitt to you name it, Kenny's on it. Just check his discography or whatever the hell you call those things. I think you, uh, it's all music maybe, and it's just like hit, 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 hit. <laughs> Anyways, the man, but it was, he came to drop something off. Kenny was dropping off a pedal and Kirk was here and I'm like, hey, you're both here. Why didn't you jam? <laughs> and they did and it was freaking awesome. But anyways, I only had two cameras that day, so I'm literally just kind of working the cameras and prompting a couple questions. It's a great back and forth. Playing wise is awesome. And then it's some really cool stuff to check out. Uh, they do like, they talk and do like a little interview together after that. And it's 45 minutes of just killer, killer content. So I'm super pumped for you to check it out. But before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you know that the yearly membership is on sale now as cheap as it's gonna go. It's 50% off and you lock in that 50% off for life as long as that you're a member. That includes all of my courses. I think, uh, God, I think there's eight of my courses. There's courses, three courses from Tim Pierce, three courses from Corey Congelio. There's a Jeff Mackerling course in there and stuff is getting added to the membership all the time, both courses and content from myself. Plus, wait, there's more. You get 25% off any of the guest instructor courses that I do, and that's an addition to if they're already on sale. So if it's, you know, 40% off sale, then you get 65% off. So check that out, it funds this whole thing. I'm gonna leave a link right down below in the description box. It ends this Friday, so if you want 50% off the membership and lock in that price for life, get it while the getting's good. All right, check out this video. You guys are just, wow, oh, it's so good. Just, all right.
<laughs> wow. <laughs> that was fun. Playing with another guitar player is about listening more than anything else. So like I'm, I almost got a little bit lost a couple times because I was so busy listening to what he was no. doing, going like, oh, man. like holy shit. You know, so here. it's like, um, <laughs> but, but really listening to what the other person is playing. It's like, you can't get all wrapped up in your head. And I mean, we all do to a certain extent, but it's really about, it's a, it's a, it's a conversation. Yeah. You know, even if you're the only guitar player and it's a drummer, it's always a conversation. And I think what people like is the communication. And so it's interesting. This is we just I showed up to drop off a pedal and we sat down and started playing. It's our first time playing together. And it's like immediate, like, oh man, I totally understand the language, you know, that you're speaking. So that's so and I could tell Absolutely. that he's got big ears and knows how to listen. And that's man, that's ninety percent of it right there. A hell of a lot coming from Kenny. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's really true. I mean, that's yeah, I mean, really what it is, you know? You know, I mean, and, and I totally, I just hear a whole, like, world of different ideas and different things. And that's the thing that I really get off on the most, is hearing a guitar player have all of these different little, I don't want to call them tricks, but it's just playing a long time, having the experience and just having all of these little soulful ways that you maneuver around the one four five you know something yeah. so simple but still okay well he has this swampy thing that he does and then he has these bends you know and it's just so interesting to me you know making this song or what you're playing interesting and better and soulful from the heart you know yeah that's what i did and it's also paying attention to your volume you know from a <laughs> yeah. technical thing it's like yeah. is it's like when kirk starts the solo I need to back down and make sure that I'm supportive and not, I shouldn't be up equal to, I should be back a little yeah. bit underneath, yeah. you know? And it's like you step up to the podium, you know, and I step back a little bit. So I don't want to, like you ever play with people and they're like, they never turn down. They never turn down. It's yeah. just, yeah. yeah. And it's like, they're not, they're listening <laughs> to themselves, you know? So I think that's, um, I, th I think it's it's a big part. And then the other thing that I notice about you, and I've noticed this from listening to your records too, is that um, it's the phrasing. You know, I I'm not interested in super fast pentatonic runs. I appreciate yeah. the agility, but it doesn't. I don't really. It doesn't really do it for me. But when someone, you know, the the phrasing and the space in your phrasing. You know, is really good, and I hear there's a, a little bit of a gospel churchiness. Oh yeah, you know, which is man, you're so fortunate to have that. Oh, you know, man. I can hear that. Is my wife who who's a gospel or was a gospel singer, and you know, I know that. Um, I know that you know yeah. from being around her, yeah. and um, I love that kind of phrasing. It's like when BB King says he's trying to play like uh, Mahalia sings. Ooh, yeah, you know. It's like that's the that's yeah. the goal. Yeah, you know, is to get there. Yeah, and however you can do that. You know, the the beautiful thing too. The other thing of talking again about accompaniment too is like you know some people will play what they think is cool accompaniment be, behind someone. Yeah, you know, and it may yeah. be terrible, make you feel terrible what yeah. they're playing is not. Yeah. It just doesn't work well, and and it's nice to feel like you have this comfortable blanket under you this pillow under you yeah and immediately when we started playing you started doing you went right immediately there and was like okay i'm comfortable yeah i could sing or do whatever if need be because kenny's got it it's there well well i always feel like that my main role is and honestly the re thing i really think i get work is because of my rhythm playing is I mean I know I can play Ooh. solos and stuff and yeah. that's great but there's so many great solo players yeah. you know that have been that have all this stuff they do but yeah. to me rhythm is um, is um, so I you know when people ask me like what do I do, do I, we should play rhythm so for instance just you know playing a get into the pocket of going and really I got this what Kirk was playing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> so 
So I would like, for me, I would, yeah. and sometimes I practice with a metronome. Yeah. You know, if there's a groove I want to get down or something mm -hmm. I know I'm going to be recording, yeah. I'll work with the metronome and get where I'm, it's just, I'm right in, yeah. in, in the middle of it. But, you know, th that, and, and you were doing some sort of inside com kind of stuff. Can you show the way you were you doing, mean like doing the rhythm? You know, something sort of like that. It's like a, it's like almost a drummer. Yeah. You know, there's a that that would be a rhythm that, you know, your head can go like that, or it's almost like the syncopated thing of a drum. Yeah. Playing, you know, and I think that is like the most important element. And you know, I was gonna ask you something too. Like for me, I wouldn't play that necessarily if there was a singer or something, you know, like that real rhythm like kind yeah. of thing or with yeah. a drummer, you know, yeah. and I know you probably run across that yeah. often, your little parts with two guitar players. Yeah. Staying out of the way of the singers. Yeah, you gotta I'm be real ca careful with that. So if there was like if we played that stuff as an mm -hmm. intro and the singer can't came in, and especially if there's a lot of rhythm to the words, like wow, da da da, sing a man, a man, a man, da da. Well, there's a lot of information going on up there, so I back down like. Result to to the Joe Walsh rhythm. Yeah. There's plenty of room for for the lyric, but you still got your rhythm thing up. You know, and that might be all I play, maybe with that, because that's so yeah. killing. You know, yeah, I, just, I might just, you know. Oh yeah. You know. You know, would not so much, yeah. you know, going yeah. on. That's right. You know, sort of Cornell Dupree, sort of, you know. Cornell Dupree. Yeah. Did you see uh, the Aretha at, uh, they released the the movie of Amazing Grace? Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. that's Cornell Dupree. <laughs> yeah. Who looks like he's yeah. 15. I know, Cornell Dupree and um, Chuck Rainey, right? Yeah. Chuck, yeah. Or is it? Jerry it's, Jamar. It's Chuck it, Rainey. It's Chuck right? Rainey. Yeah. Yeah. They play Bernard so Bernie. appropriate. You never even know, you hardly know they're playing, yeah. <laughs> but if they stopped playing, you would know they weren't playing. Exactly. You know, exactly. I want to be that guy. Yes. You know, that's what I want to be. So, yeah, but that that's exactly right. Those holes, you know, yeah, just, the holes are as important as the... Yeah, is the is is the notes, but you know, I really that's a lot of fun for me, even more so than so long. It's trying to figure out, okay, Kenny's doing this, and I'm gonna play because I love playing with two guitars, especially rhythm. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. Like, oh man, he's doing that. So I, you know, to me, I get excited about that. It's not like, oh man, what am I gonna play now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you that's know. right. Yeah, or totally like even blues. You know, like if you're playing blues, uh, you know. You know, then the other guy's playing the high part. Yeah. Oh man, that's the best. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, you to know. get down. I can yeah. do that all night. Yeah, and that's probably yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's probably my that's favorite. But, you know. but but I love the thing of doing it, and as I know, it's kind of like that Louisiana, Texas, you know. But yeah. but, but the.
You see how it sounds when we both played it turn around like that? It's like the most <laughs> so, incredible thing ever. That was, that was so good. Man, because you know that stuff, man. But there's like the, the, like the kind of the early period fabulous Thunderbirds. Oh, yeah. You know, totally. Is, to me, is the best blues rhythm guitar maybe that I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean his, his rhythm playing was Jamie like... Jamie on that record in the sound and the way... It's, it's insane oh. and how far back behind the beat he oh. plays, but it's Phil Seals. And the other thing he does that I don't know if this is right for people to do, but he mm -hmm. does the thing that... Is it Slim Harpo that, that did it? That, that Jimmy Reed, it's, it's when he goes to the five chord. So, if, like, oh. goes, <laughs> so, yeah. so, so if you go... <laughs> Yeah. It's normal, the, yeah. Jimmy, the Jimmy Reed thing. But then when he goes to the five chord, he plays. Yeah. Because <laughs> they didn't know to put your finger. Yeah. But it sounds so good. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it's so good. But I love his. I love uh, that. His. Uh, it's so. Great yeah. sounding. That's amazing. Um, I mean, even just playing in A, doing all of that stuff in A too. Like, you know, that, that stuff so is so like, great. Oh. It always had, it reminds me of sort of that. I always think of like, you know, West Louisiana, East mm -hmm. Texas. Is that what that is? I'm not an expert, you know, but I really appreciate. Oh yeah, that style of playing, you know, that really changed things, you know. Yeah, when he yeah. came came out and did that, but. amplified, amplified Delta is it's sort the of greatest. It's kind of that's it. I mean, like you know, in, in, in like putting those ideas into like more contemporary stuff, like we were playing on it. Putting those kind of amplified like Lightning Hopkins and different That's right. ideas, you yeah. know, so much fun. Yeah, such a different other place to go. I know Kenny knows all about that. And, and so, are you are are you using that? Is is that your volume pedal? Yeah, I, I never use a volume pedal too much, but I just wanted to have my volumes up and just in right. case I'm. <clears throat> you know, just so the way you're doing it, it in here, right? Yeah, now. just kind of trying it out. And I yeah. like volume pedals. Sometimes yeah. I like to have it way more stripped now. Like your pedal board is exactly what I would yeah. do too. You know. Yeah, that's what I have for the. That's what I used on the show last night. So. I mean, that goes to show you, it could definitely cover a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have a big pedal board. Yeah. Because they. A lot of times in this modern age, mm -hmm. they want you to have a lot of reverb and effects to use. Yeah. That's great, but yeah. it's also good to not use it, you know? So. Yeah. Don't you, you have a, like a Tweed Deluxe that you use sometimes mm -hmm. with just that, right? Yeah, Tweed Man. Deluxe, yeah. Oh, that yeah. sounds good. I go stand in the room next to it and yeah. just take a pedal and go stand next, because standing next to the amp makes a real sound. Oh, yeah. To, I, man, totally. Yeah. So, can I ask you another question about yeah. miking? Because I'm, I'm a blues guy. You know, right. I mean, that's right. kind of, and I like to have my mic. I like to use one mic and kind of put it a little bit away from the amp, just a little bit. You yes. Know, just to get a little more. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I know you have to do different ways, probably. What I like to do, it depends if if I'm doing it where I have the ability to try things. Yeah. What I like to do is I like to do a mic fairly close. Yeah. Not on the cone. Like everybody knows you don't put it on the cone, you move yeah. it off to the side. Yeah. And then um, the other thing that I learned is from Ray Kennedy, the Americana record producer and engineer. Oh, okay. He <clears throat> knows all the Steve Earle records and oh, Cindy Williams and yeah. stuff. He, um, wow. he was telling, he has, there's a company called Mic Tech, M I K T E K, mm -hmm. and they make, it's not expensive equipment, and they there's a drum mic, and I remember the name because I've told so many people about it. Mm -hmm. That it's called the PM Amazon Mother PM10, and it's actually a drum mic, but it's a better sounding 57. It's like a bigger sounding 57. Yeah. So I take a PM10 and I put it just a little way off the cone, and it can be a little bit of weight, just like you're saying, yeah. you get a little bit of air. air. But then what I like to do, if I have, like if I, if we were making your record, yeah. I would, yeah. I would take another mic and put it 
like if you're sitting here, yeah. I'd put it like twice as far away as I am from you. I'd yeah. put it out over here and Man. I'd add a lot of compression <laughs> to it. Yeah. And because what that would sound like is that the person in the club that's listening to you, it's yes. what their ear would yes. sound like. Because yeah. the person in the club listening, they don't have their ear pressed yeah, against you. Exactly. Amplifier, Thank you. you know, they they're <laughs> back over there. So I like that sound, and I like to mix that in, yeah. depending on how big everything everything else sounds. Yeah. I'll mix in that other. I'll put it on a separate channel, and um, and that's why when you listen to the older records, like you listen to the Hendrix records, or, yeah you know whatever and they're they're even the almond brothers yeah their guitar sounds are so big sounding big. it's because they're all in the drum mics they're Man. all in the, in the drum mics and in in the vocal and like that first thunderbirds record yeah when uh he plays the opening thing to uh there's that slow blues on the first thunderbirds record full-time love full-time lover yeah. where he, he plays you know, Totally. It's a glorious sound. <laughs> totally. But then when they, it sounds to me, I mean, they m could maybe tell you it's something else, but towards the end of his opening thing, the sound just gets bigger and it almost sounds like he's got a chorus on it. <laughs> yeah. It's because they turned on his, the vocal mic. Yeah. And who's standing somewhere near him. Yeah. And they turn on the vocal mic and it starts to chorus and the sound gets huge. Man, sounding. exactly. And it's exactly. because it's coming into the vocal mic. And that's, that's the or BB so, King records. BB King records you know, are the greatest. The, the little lamp, you know, coming through the vocal mic. It's oh, amazing! Or Voodoo man. Child by Voodoo Jimmy Child. Hendrix. Yeah, it's all up in all of those. You amazing can hear it in all those. Yeah, those microphones. Yeah. Oh man, so, is this good stuff? <laughs> man, I'm like, I totally forgot. <laughs> Does anybody ask the questions and everything? Does anybody ask the questions? Fuck about any of this stuff? You know? I do. <laughs> I mean, it's all our studio. This is all we do is sit around and talk about this shit. Yeah. That's so That's cool. all we do is we sit around <laughs> That's and so cool. And talking about rhythm guitars, one other thing I would re highly recommend. It's mm -hmm. not in the blues idiom. Yeah. But I would recommend you can go on YouTube and they've recorded some of the new Red Hot Chili Pepper concerts. There's the Austin City Limits one, yeah. where it's a pretty good, they, you know, they make a good recording and they, yeah. it's a board mix, it's mm -hmm. not kind of dry, mm -hmm. but that guy's rhythm playing. John Frusciante, you mean? Is insane. Ooh, yeah, John. I watched the whole thing. I watched the whole hour and 40 minutes yeah. of it because his rhythm playing, <laughs> I mean, obviously John he does incredible. all that crazy, yeah. sort of punk rock meets Hendrix. Mm -hmm. Guitar solos, yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. But his, um, man, his rhythm playing, I, I don't think there's anybody better right now. And man, John Frusciante is amazing. I mean, I grew up listening to him, you know, L.A. guy, you know. Yeah. The music of that time. But there's a, there's a, <laughs> it's just from a couple of weeks ago that whenever Austin Sin was in wow, first I of October. Wow, I gotta check that out. And it's the whole show. Wow. It's the entire show. And man, you just kind of watch him and go like, this guy is, you know, Blood Sugar, you know Blood Sugar, yeah. right? It's yeah, just, man, it's an amazing it's, record. It's, yeah, yeah, incredible record really. on on, um, on YouTube. There's a there's a site that's all isolated guitar tracks, and they have the oh. whole record just his guitar. Wow, record. it's amazing. It's and then the Funky Monks video. You get a bunch of isolated, <laughs> isolated guitar that's tracks. That's amazing. It's killer. Yeah, John Frusciante yeah. is amazing. Uh, yeah, I can play. Mm -hmm. I can start off because I want to hear what he's gonna do. <laughs>
Wow. Wow. Okay, I got something I want to discuss. So, there's this thing that you did that was so, it was incredible. When you took your solo break, you did, I don't know, I don't know if I can explain it and you can recreate it or we just have to find it and listen to it, but you did this thing that a lot of us dun dun dun, so you're gonna play, mm -hmm. And I and and I gotta say my blues chops are way down because I never get to play it anymore. <laughs> that to me. So so it's really easy. Like play play the blues. The the thing we did the 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 rhythm too. Easy to stay there and. That's 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 kind of normal mm -hmm. kind of stuff and good stuff to do. Make little melodies and play. But you did this thing where you went to da 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 da. da. You went to playing like it's a dotted eighth dun da da yeah. da da. But you did this thing that like it's almost like what I hear great jazz players do mm -hmm. is they play straight against the dotted thing and you did it a couple times in your break can you recreate that you know what that is like three four that's it you know that kind so so uh, what, what is that So 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 now you play play the theater and Terry. I'll be using that right oh, there, my, my know, brother. That's like uh, you know Robert Nighthawk or um, just just you know amplified country blues. Yeah, again. but that's so great because it's so language speaking. It's like I'm saying, it's like I'm saying, well, don't come out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, fucking around. And, yeah. you know, it's totally yeah. speaking. It's like the woman saying, don't you do, you know, yeah. it's so, and you did that a couple times in your solo oh, yeah. break. And, yeah, so like. <laughs> wow. It's very country blues, isn't it? Yeah. Man, yeah. You so know, or like, yeah. you know, that's not quite what you were saying, but. Yeah, but that's <laughs> really know. great. That's really, uh, really great, and then, really great stuff, man. Yeah. Then you got the big Bill Brunsey, you know. What was it? Against, you know. <laughs>
<laughs> wow. Man, see, Kenny knows all that stuff, yeah. so now it makes what I'm doing make sense in a way. You know? Yeah, yeah. Just I, I, like I, one guy I sitting here. I swear to know it. You really know it. You know? Like, but, yeah. that, but, but that's another thing that's really important is that to, you know, to just, and I like to practice. I'm a practicer. And as I've gotten older, I practice more. Yeah. I've, you've heard me talk about this before, right? Because... I, it's like an athletic thing. My facility. That's the other thing I read. This there's a new article on John Frusciante. It oh, came really? in the mail. I got home at midnight last night, and he was on the cover of. You were like, oh like, man. Oh, <laughs> so I got like a glass of milk. And I'm sitting there yeah. reading John Frusciante, and um, he practices like three or four hours a day. Wow. I did not know, know that. You know, he was talking about well, I, in order to be able to do what I do at night, you know, mm -hmm. I go like man. So, but the thing about. This never came e easy for me. That never yeah. came easy for me. And so I yeah. had to get a metronome and go. <laughs> and you know. That whole kind of, yeah. and I, I never was, I'm still not really like, the, you know, uh, the best at that, but I know the, a little bit enough to play that rhythm. Mm -hmm. It's a great rhythm to know, you know, and it opens up a new way of playing stuff on top, like you were playing that stuff on top. Yeah, of it, so it's, it sounds it's really cool. Super yeah. useful. I mean, I'm terrible at that, like, yeah. That's all I can do, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. mind looking like an idiot. <laughs> no, yeah, I, mean, that's I don't that, mind. But that's that, that's if I don't that, know how to uh, do it, I don't know. <laughs> that you know, like the early Elvis, you know, stuff. Oh, yeah. That's but that's just applicable to everything. It really know? is. Um, there's somebody played me the multi-track of um, what is the Bee Gees' big hit? Um, it's 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 staying it's staying alive. But if you think about staying alive, you know, staying alive. Ding, 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 ding. It's a disco song. Mm -hmm. It's the first drum we got. Mm -hmm. They made a loop because their drummer got. I said, somebody played me the multi track, and there's an acoustic guitar playing. playing. Wow, against that. It's unbelievable. Wow. Playing like a Johnny Cash, a Luther Perkins thing underneath it, and the, this guy was doing this thing where he took it in and out. And you know, he muted that track, and you mute that track, and it song falls apart. Wow! Yeah, I'll uh, bring that over and play for you. You can't believe it. Yeah. Wow! It's acoustic guitar. He's playing like Johnny Cash. Wow! So somebody was so <laughs> brilliant, you know. Yeah. Anyways, I digress. I digress. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support and checking out that video. How freaking awesome was that video? Now, they both are going to be in videos coming up soon. Kenny Greenberg is doing a rhythm guitar course with me, which is going to be amazing. Kurt Fletcher, again, has a course coming out soon. So, again, if you get the membership at 50% off, you're going to get an additional 25% percent off that Kirk Fletcher course when it comes out, which is going to be awesome. And if you're a member, you will get the course automatically that I'm coming out with Kenny Greenberg. Plus, there's a mixing major and minor course coming out in about, I don't know, like three weeks, I think. So you'll get all of that stuff. I think altogether there's going to be over a thousand videos and I think there's like 170 hours or something crazy crazy with the lessons tabs all that stuff and it's what supports this whole channel and also there's some killer performances and very awesome lessons that uh kirk has done here and there's a killer performance with kenny greenberg and guthrie trap that is amazing at kenny's home studio on the channel so you make sure you check that out too if you want more of kenny he's awesome like i said You'll be seeing him more on the channel soon, and he'll also be in an upcoming rhythm course coming probably by the end of the year. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your continued support. We'll catch you next time.